students, welcome to NSTP Lecture Series Part 1. I am your instructor, Ms. Zenia Marie V. Delionio. For today's lecture series, I will discuss Unit 1 of your NSTP module, which is entitled The Community Immersion Requisite of NSTP, an Overview. In this lecture, I will give a brief introduction regarding community immersion and its objectives, and I will give an overview regarding your activity. So let us start. In your course outcome, you are expected to demonstrate knowledge and understanding on community involvement strategies and approaches in developing communities. In your specific learning outcome, at the end of this unit, you're expected to describe community involvement strategies and approaches. So let us start. Introduction. Okay, let us start with the introduction about community immersion. One of the salient features of the National Service Training Program, or NSTP, but particularly its Civic Welfare Training Service, or CWTS, and Literacy Training Service, or LTS, components, is that it focuses on the promotion of the general welfare of the Filipinos via responsive and altruistic community-based projects, by student trainees as they undergo community immersion in fulfillment of the requirements of NSTP. Students must undergo community immersion during the second phase of the training program. Community immersion is a requirement in order for you to graduate from the program. In RA 9163 Section 7, all higher and technical vocational institutions public and private, must offer at least one of the program components. It is one of the important requirements of the National Service Training Program prescribed to students, male and female alike, in private and public higher education institutions and technical vocational schools. Community immersion it is the practicum-based element of NSDP, where lessons learned and acquired in NSDP-1, whether on a semester basis or as a part of the one summer program, are applied in the enhancement of the trainee's capabilities, civic consciousness, and defense preparedness in the service of the nation. That is why we have CWTS and LTS for Civic Consciousness and ROTC for Defense Preparedness. In your NSTP-1, you were taught regarding the NSTP law or RA-9163. Also, good citizenship, drug and substance abuse prevention and control, disaster risk reduction and management, environmental awareness and protection, nation and national security concerns. So all these concepts and lessons were taught to you during the first semester. That is why in NSTP2, you are expected to apply all these learnings through community immersion. So what is community immersion? As a concept, Community immersion is a strategy in community organizing that is sought to imbibe among the NSTP trainees a better understanding and realization of the different community concerns through exposure to actual life situation. So students will be given an opportunity to be exposed to real situations. These experiences will allow them to integrate with other people who may facilitate them to undergo certain changes that will make them civic conscious and socially responsible citizens. You will be exposed to what we call the DDU communities. DDU stands for Deprived, Depressed, and Underprivileged. De deprived people or community 
They are those who do not have the things that people consider to be essential in life. For example, acceptable living conditions or education. Probably the most severely deprived people are the children in the country. The term depressed communities means rural and urban communities that are relatively depressed in terms of age of housing, extent of poverty, growth of per capita income, extent of uh, unemployment or job, job lag or surplus labor. The term underprivileged community is applied to a large number of social groups, in fact, to a majority of the human race. It is used to refer to ethnic, religious, cultural, social, political, and economic groups. So community immersion as a process is aimed at developing among student trainees through the training program their appropriate appreciation of rendering community works which are quintessential in affording for them the opportunity to experience and put themselves in real life situations in the community they serve. For this reason, each trainee must have a genuine feeling of living with the people in order that they may understand and relate with community concerns as they go through self-transformation and personal growth at the same time. However, this is not applicable during pandemic, but there are other ways that we are able to go through self-transformation while serving others. So again, each trainee must have a genuine feeling of living with the people in order that they may understand and relate with community concerns. So they are expected to initiate community-based interventions in the form of projects and activities. As part of the requirement, you are expected to form in your own community uh, projects and activities that are in accordance to the IATF protocols. So do not worry because there are many projects you can do for your community immersion. Also, community immersion uh, contributes to the upliftment of the quality of life of the people in the service areas. So that is our main goal, to help and uplift their quality of life. So at the same time, students will be able to develop their ethics of service imbued with the good citizenship values, which are makajos, makabayan, makatao, and makakalikasan. So here is a picture in your module that shows how community immersion is used as an approach in developing among the NSDP student trainees the concept of service and empowerment as they reach out to deprived, depressed, and underprivileged communities and the marginalized segments of the society. Okay, so the students with their knowledge and skills and attitude through their through their involvement in the NSDP, then their exposure to the community, it results to um, students' um, enhanced civic consciousness and defense preparedness and develop the ethics of service imbued with good citizenship. So it's a cycle. So the students, when they learn, um, they develop skills and improve their attitude they give service to the community and then the students in return, they improve themselves and then they contribute to the uh, nation, to our community. So we have different dimensions of development if, in which we can base our community-based project or activity. So we have sports, like we can organize free basketball clinic for the youth. Second, health, giving it. Um, under this, we can give lectures regarding proper hygiene because there are many diseases we can avoid just by proper hand washing. Also, for safety, 
We can have information campaign regarding safety protocols during disasters like earthquake, fire, or storms, and especially during the pandemic. Also, livelihood. So we teach housewives or single mothers on how to become entrepreneurs, like teaching them how to make rugs or baking or cooking simple dishes in which they can sell. So we also care for our environment. We can have clean up drives in a stagnant in a stagnant canal, making vegetable garden, recycling. In education, we also provide minor repairs in the daycare center, donate books, clean their playground. And as to moral citizenry, we invite speakers that would uplift their mind and soul and spirit. So these are activities prior to pandemic. However, we can also do this, but with some modification that would not violate the IATF protocols. Like we can do this in our own family, in our own backyard, in a small group with physical distancing. Again, these are the various dimensions of development. We have education, health, safety and disaster management, sports and recreation, environmental services, entrepreneurship and livelihood, morals of citizenry, and other social general welfare concerns. So in a nutshell, community immersion is an approach of bringing the NSTP student trainees to DDU communities and to underserved and marginalized sectors. Students will be change agents, no? It, uh, providing them the venue where they may be, uh, they may encounter paradigm shifts from being mere spectators of community action, nonchalant and passive citizens, to responsive and effective change agents who are empowered to touch the lives of other people. So students, you will be part of the solution to the problem, not spectators, not just an audience.